Welcome back to Kona. I was about to leave Blaze's house and head to the building that we have not looked at further down the pathway where we visited the doctor. Right about there. I was going to head there, but then I saw that there was something I didn't explore on Blaze's property, this little shack. Try to open it. Turns out it's locked, but guess what? Reach object. That's what the thread and the magnet is for. There's like a key at the bottom of the hole for some reason. Don't know why the heck it's down there, but yeah, that's what it's for. A key. What could it be for? The garden shed? Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone, but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. What could it be for? It's literally called Ched Key. Flares. Ooh, I wonder if that would scare off wolves because it'd be so, like, violently bright. Hardware. Still not what I need to fix the generator. Chainsaw doesn't work, of course. Okay. Looks like that's it. Alright. I'm gonna head past the doctor's place and I'll be right back when I am. Okay, I'm pretty close to the new building. I'm in between it and the doctor's house. Polaroid. Aw, oh, birdcage? Hope there wasn't a bird in it. Almost there. Oop, loading screen. Definitely almost there. House of the Patriot. I don't like the sound of that. Continued on that way. Pretty cozy little place. Why well, wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? Empty gun rack. Definitely the sort of person that has guns, obviously. I mean, the Patriot plus the target thing outside and a gun rack. So they have the gun or guns. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Prepare caribou. Oh, but I'm missing something. So I've got a bottle, but what's the other thing? It just, it's a question mark. Hmm. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. 
The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. I like the drawers are overrated. Yeah, they just piled all their stuff in a corner of the room. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. White whiskey. Too much isn't a valid quantifier for that. Sherry wine for added mellowness. Well, I've got the wine, so I guess I just need... What, the white whiskey? Gin fizz and Long Island iced tea. Yeah, so I do need the the uh, white whiskey because I've got the wine, right? I know I have some sort of wine. Yeah, sherry. I think that's it for this place. Oh wait. It is Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. That pig? Jeez, harsh. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Quebec liberation will happen by force or not at all. We will prevail. something in that truck. Carl shivered as he saw the emblem. The Patriot flag, used during the 1837 rebellion, and which had resurfaced in 1970s Quebec, flown proudly by the FLQ terrorist groups. This flag meant bombs, kidnappings, threats in the papers. It was a sign of rebellion. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Continue on that way, that's back down the road to the doctors, right? Hmm. Not necessarily, it just goes to the main road. It could go down south. Maybe I should go down south and see what's there. I'm pretty close. Let's go. Follow the prince. the way we want to go, right? Yep. I'm glad you can <laughs> sprint while looking at the map, because the game doesn't pause when you look at it, so I feel bad if I'm just, like, standing in the blizzard, getting colder, trying to stare at a map. I think the amount that you're carrying affects how far you can run. That plus your state of mind. Because I feel like I'm not running nearly as far now that I've picked up more firewood. When I was at the doctor's house off camera, I actually dropped some of my bottles of water to free up a bit of weight. And it definitely felt like I could run longer then. Ooh, 
Inventory's full. I don't know what the hardware is for, but I'm sure I have things less valuable than it. Uh, I haven't used the lantern at all, but I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, consumables. I really don't think I need the water, especially since I have beer bottles. I've got a bunch of other stuff that could improve my mental state too. I mean, heck, I just smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I'm going to discard them. And we'll chug a beer. Like an empty bottle. I assume an empty bottle weighs a lot less than a full one. It's gotta be something good over here. What's it loading? I see a window. Yep, almost to the end. It's actually a store, it's a business. Oh, I could just break it with my pincers. So atmospheric. Lonely, broken scientist waving in the wind. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land as a dog is with hydrants. I'm just reading people's mail. Letter for Lamothe. Dear Mr. Lamothe, here's the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski -doo. This model, being very popular, has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage, potfin, and feels in... I can't pronounce any of these things. Sincerely, Gaton. Spark plug? Sounds like that was maybe for a snowmobile? Possibly. I didn't mean to throw that away. Oh well. Oh, there's a break in the fence. Didn't even need to break the lock. I am curious where these go, though. Ah, I'll follow those after I get in here. I need to warm up first. Shit, that means there's a body in there, right? Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what?
threw something in there. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Look at the texture on the ice. So crystalline. Oh, there isn't a fire in here, is there? Let me do it on heat. Eh, not bad. Oh! <gasps> I can use that to fix the generator! Pliers! I can probably gas up my vehicle now. So I can get the generator running, which means I can get the pump's power, and then they can pump the fuel. person had a lot of bird cages and yet seemingly no birds to all appearances Carl concluded the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage peculiar man indeed yeah they're living in here Whatever they were working on, which I guess is this, which looks like a little UFO, must have been consuming their life. Something isn't right when your bed is in your garage. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Unused steel trap, not to be touched. <laughs> Too many orange juice bottles. What's the limit, Carl? Headlight? What am I going to do with that? Homemade flying saucer. Life never ceases to amaze me. Can repair it? Why? I mean... The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek, was out of the ordinary to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. Well, I'm pretty sure everything that requires of me I have multiples of. I mean, it's not going to use up the pliers. I think I have two duct tape. And I have a bunch of hardware. I do have two duct tape, right? Yeah, I do, because I need one of those to repair the generator. So, sure. It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Was that just for the fun of it? Was it just completely pointless? week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I'm expecting a nice spark plug around the week of October 5th. It's already paid for. I already stole it. Ooh. Green milk for little green men.
All right, so it's up there. Whatever they threw, a key or something. What could I possibly do to get it, to reach it? Maybe there's some way to get to the... the roof? How are we doing on heat? Eh, still pretty good. He pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere, made of parts from a dozen different vehicles. Philip gas can. Oh, so I don't even need to get the pumps working at the general store to at least be able to go somewhere. I wonder how heavy that is now. Well, eh, it's kind of heavy, but not too bad. Ooh, snowmobile. That might be the snowmobile that needs the spark plug. Track? <laughs> I think I'm going to repair this thing. Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. I hear a wind chime. I don't see it though. I guess the headlights are probably for the snowmobile. I think I'm doing pretty... yeah, I'm doing terrible on heat. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Oh, Carl there it is. already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Nice catio. They say it's supposed to soothe the soul. But with this powerful gale that seemingly never sleeps, it was far more likely to get on anyone's nerves. Oh, I don't have wood. Ah, there we go. This person was very eccentric. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? You deducted? Really? You deduced it? I, I wonder what could have made you think that that was a map of the area. Alright, let's check the pin locations. So they're pretty far up there. They're like totally off the track and like close to the... I'm guessing those are mountains. Wish I could put pins in my own map. Oh, it already marked them on the map. Secret project down here. Ice cave up there. Okay, apparently I already know what they are. And... There's something marked over here, but I think I've maybe already found it. Oh no. No, I haven't found it. It's the cave next to the Lachances. Anything else? Nope, just those three. Follow up on a complaint. Dear Mr. Limothe, 
Following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that the Judicial District of... of... TB Does not believe in little green men. When one isn't enough, why not buy eight? The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? For the snowmobile, manufacturer's manual. This suspension has way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. I patched everything up with the tracks. I left them close by. Don't drink and work, don't drink and work, don't drink and work on misplacing parts of the machine. Rajan came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon. For the most part, he helped me chug my bottles down to the last drop. I think we tried to ski or something. Bad idea. I still haven't found that one ski we lost in the process. Wait a second. The one ski we lost? Like, ski you put on your foot or like snowmobile ski? Because I think I still need one more. Might have to go find it. Why is the calendar sideways? Apparently Lamafe is a rock collector. Jesus, the melee weapons make such violent noises. wonder if I can actually use this as a tool somewhere, or if it's just another melee weapon. How am I doing on weight? Because that probably weighs a bit. Uh, that'd be equipment. Yeah, it weighs a little bit. Yeah, this stuff is really adding up. I think I should dump some of it in my vehicle once I get back to it, because I know I can store stuff in there. So I should probably put the things that I use less often, like those tools inside of there. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. I already tried that, didn't work. Garlic over their door? Vampires. They were worried about vampires. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, let's see if we can repair this snowmobile. Following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Place track. So I'm missing the bench. Light and handlebars. Don't have the handlebars. Okay, I don't have nearly as many parts as I thought I did. Does this thing need a spark plug too? Maybe that comes later. 
All right, let's take a look around. I wonder if it would be at the secret project sites. Potentially. Okay, well, for now, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to look in the vicinity, specifically the secret project area down here, and see if I can find some more of the parts.